Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Today's the big day. We're going to be putting the carbon fiber on the roof. Um, so I did a lot of prep work yesterday, got it all covered up so that we're not going to get resin absolutely everywhere. It's going to go most places, but that's uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Anyway, so I got the roof uh, all cleaned up. So first thing we're going to do today is um, the part all wax on the roof and then we're gonna put the PVA release film. And uh, so I will show you that. All right, so I wiped the roof off with some acetone just to get rid of any residues that might've been on there. And we're gonna stick three layers of this part all paste on there. This is mold release uh, wax. Um, so once the roof is cured on the, once the carbon roof is cured on the metal roof, this will allow me to pop it off at the end. So so three layers of this and um, just like regular wax, wax on, wax off, and then we'll start um, doing some carbon stuff. So the other thing that the um, the wax is going to do is it's going to fill in any tiny imperfections uh, in the roof, specifically here in my fiberglass work and my Bondo work. I'm sure there's some tiny pinholes in it that I haven't seen and I haven't sanded out. So this will fill those little holes and make sure there's no resin getting into them. So I got the roof covered in the Pardol wax. Um, Three layers, wax on, wax off, all buffed out. So that's as smooth as the roof is gonna get. Next thing we're putting on is this PVA release film. This is just another, another layer of protection to get the mold off. Um, this is water soluble, so if the mold happens to get stuck in a spot, you can uh, get it uh, lifted where you can and spray some water in there. <clears throat> and this should help break it up. So there's a few different ways to um, apply this stuff. Obviously a spray gun or an aerosol can would be preferred, but what I'm going to do is squirt it on with this bottle and then brush it with a brush. Um, it is self-leveling once the air starts to come out of it, so it'll look pretty streaky and then it'll all even out. Um, that's it. All right, so the, we've got the roof covered in PVA uh, release film now. As you can see, it levels itself out um, pretty nicely. It takes about 30 minutes to cure, so all these little air bubbles that you can kind of see now are gonna um, work themselves out and you'll have a totally slick surface. So now it's starting to look like something you can actually pop some carbon fiber off. Yeah, next stop is the uh, first coat of resin. All right, so we've got the PVA film. It's all um, cured on the roof. So that means we are ready to move on to the next step, which is resin. Um, the resin I am using is the same one I used uh, on a previous smaller job. It's West 105 and West 207. The 207 hardener is supposed to be um, the clearest curing hardener there is. So it will work perfect for a roof. Um, these pumps are silly expensive, but they make mixing it really easy. Um, it's literally just one pump of this, one pump of that. Rinse and repeat uh, until you have the quantity that you're going to need. <clears throat> so, get the stir ready. Um, as you can tell, it's quite warm today. Uh, that's going to affect our curing times. So we're probably going to have a pot life of about 20 minutes. That means once we mix the two in here, we'll have about 20 minutes of it sitting in here. Um, then we're going to have about uh, 90 minutes of working time on the roof. Uh, we don't need that much time to flat surface. We're just going to lay everything up. But uh, it is a factor you need to consider when working with resins. Um, so 
just gonna get this first batch mixed up. I don't like counting this out, so I'm gonna do one to one to one. Uh, a lot of people do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, but I'm not trying to lose count today. There's one full press, one full press. probably enough footage of me pumping resin. I've got about a half a quart mixed up. I'm gonna see how far this goes on the roof. Um, easiest way, cover this big surface. I'm just gonna pour it right in the middle. Um, try and pour it evenly. I'm gonna throw some gloves on and spread it out with a brush. So this is the first coat we're gonna get down. Um, this is gonna be the base coat for all the carbon. Um, once this layer gets tacky, that's when we lay the first sheet on. So this should go pretty far. Um, I'm probably gonna need another half quart to get a full covering on the car, on the roof. But this is the basics of it. Try and catch any runs before they go off the edge of the windshield. Just get a nice smooth layer just like you did with the PVA film. So, got the first layer of resin on the roof starting to tack up, which means it's time to put some carbon on it. Uh, I went ahead and uh, cut all the layers yesterday so that it would be easy to put them on today. So we're going to do four layers of carbon. It's a uh, standard 2x2, two 12. Two, um, so since it's just the two of us, myself and my camera guy slash wife, um, putting this on on this long roof. It's definitely going to be a challenge, um, but you guys will see in the time lapse how it's actually going. So, uh, first layer going down. All right, so we struggled and got the first layer on. Um, it's pretty straight. I'm not too worried about the straightness of this. Um, so now I'm putting the first layer of resin onto the carbon. So this is when it really starts to look like carbon fiber, as we all know it, nice and shiny. Um, so the biggest uh, things to pay attention to here are getting it nice and evenly spread. You don't want too much resin, you don't want too little, and um, making sure the edges are nice and tight. I'm just starting from the middle and working out from there. So that's the first layer on and resined and um, scraped off the excess so that it's fully saturated. Um, so just wait for this to get tacky, which by the time you're finished working it on this large roof, um, it's tacky enough to stick another one, another layer of carbon on. So that is what we're gonna do. So this is layer three going on. It's definitely a struggle um, getting this huge piece of carbon uh, onto a tacky roof and 
and laying it down flat. It's, so that's been really fun. But other than that, we are about halfway done. We should have some good results here in a little while. All right, this is it, last layer of carbon. Um, this one went on the smoothest. It took us four tries to learn. Uh, but this one's on pretty good. So one more layer of resin going on top of this. And then once this tacks up a bit, we're gonna do another layer of resin on top of that. That just um, will give you the carbon fiber look that everyone's used to. It also gives you a little bit of extra resin on top so you can smooth things out. Um, any imperfections or anything you can out. That's about it. So we're going to get back to uh, scraping resin around. All right, this is the last coat of resin. We um, saturated the last, the fourth sheet of carbon. So it's fully saturated. So it's still a little tacky. Um, so that's where we want to work. This last coat of resin is not structural. It is the finishing layer on top of the carbon. So we're using a little less and using a brush because we're not trying to push it into the carbon. We're just trying to keep it on top of it. So that's it. All right, um, got the last layer of uh, resin laid up on the roof. So um, it's already been curing for about 40 minutes. Um, as you can see, that's what gives you the nice glassy carbon look that everyone loves. Um, <clears throat> still got some curing to do. There's still some bubbles in it. Um, those should um, come out as the curing process goes on. Should be about another hour at least um, for this to be considered a working surface. So after that's done, then it'll really be, um, it'll really start hardening off. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna put another layer on that, on top of this. It all depends on how level this one comes out. Um, it's looking pretty good so far, but these bubbles have me a little concerned. Um, either way, um, next video will be me cutting this off, hopefully getting it off the metal roof pretty easily, and then probably cutting the metal roof out at the same time. Um, <laughs> this was a serious project. This took all day to do and I couldn't have done it without the help of my wife. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought I would be able to manage this by myself, but just getting the fabric laid on top of this long roof um, is at least a four man um, project. We managed to do it with just the two of us. Um, and then laying resin out is a, is a workout and takes way longer than you expect. So, um, and that's why my arm's tired. I can't even hold the camera up. So that's it for this, um, this phase of the carbon roof. So the next phase will be uh, how we're gonna get it off and uh, what the finished product is gonna look like. And then um, the phase after that will be how we're gonna actually affix it to the roof. That might not be for a little while though. Um, 
I'm probably gonna leave it off so that when I get the car painted, I can get the top of the cage and everything painted, you know, through the big hole that's gonna be in there. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you're subscribed so you see the next one. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. Thanks.